to start this look, I'm first going to be priming my skin with the Maybelline Superstay Primer. This is a very lightweight, milky primer, um, and I enjoy it because it's not too heavy on my skin. So I'm just applying this and smoothing it all over my face and my neck. After I've applied the primer, I'm just spraying my face with the um, Revolution um, Priming Base Spray. Um, it's quite refreshing, so that's why I like it. And then I'm going to be using the Revolution um, Brow Pomade, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm just going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm doing them quite dramatic because the makeup look is going to be quite dramatic. And after I've done that, I've just primed my eyelids with the um, MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now, I'm doing my eyes before I do my base makeup, just because I'm going to be using some dark colours and I don't want any fallout. After I've done my primer, I'm just setting it with this um, light coloured eyeshadow, just to set that base in place. I'm going to be using my Morphe 350 palette um, for this look and I'm going to be starting off with this orange shade and just putting that in my crease just so we have a nice transition um, color. Um, at the end of this look this orange doesn't show so much but I think you'd miss it if it wasn't there. So just place it on and blend it out. And then I'm just moving in with a lighter brown shade just to diffuse um, that orange shade just to make sure all the colors blend nicely. You can skip that part if you want to. I mean, it's not a train smash. Next, I'm going to be going with the darker brown shade and I'm going to be placing that slightly below my crease onto my eyelid. Again, the purpose of this is just to build up that um brown color and to build up the intensity just so we have a nice melting um, color gradient and as you can see I'm doing the same thing with a darker brown shade it just gives the look a little bit more oomph when all the shades are layered like this Next I'm going in with um, this dark brown shade and I'm just going to be placing this on my outer corners and just bringing that into the crease. That's just for that really dark smoky outer corner that's going to tie your whole look um, together. And then after I've done that I'm just swapping over to the Balm Nude Tude palette just to get that brown shade called Sleek from the palette just to darken up that outer edge um, a little bit more because the darkest shade in the 350 palette it was a bit too cool toned now you can just take any concealer that you have I'm using the essence uh, camouflage concealer just to carve out the um, eyelid because we're going to be placing a lighter shade we need to clean up that space just so there's none of that dark brown shade present and you can just see that I'm just carving it out guys take your time with this um, don't rush it because if you do rush it you're gonna mess it up and you're not going to get that nice look you want so from the 350 palette the lighter shade in the palette I am just setting that concealer into place um, it's, it's a bit of a creamy shade so it's not like stark white so that's what I quite liked about this and then with my fluffy brush, I'm just blending the um, edges just so where we've carved out and the browns are all nice and connected and there's no harsh lines. And then as you can see, I'm just intensifying that um, light shade up just a little bit more. Now I'm taking the balm batter up. It's like a, a glittery eyeshadow stick and I'm placing that on top of my eyelid just for a little bit of shimmer it's a very beautiful um, champagne shimmery shade so um, on top of this white eyeshadow it looks stunning um, and once I've done that I'm going to just smooth out those edges one more time guys you have to clean up as you go just so 
you don't lose any of the work that you've done so far and now I'm taking my glitter liner this is Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay and I'm just putting this all over um, that white champagne eyelid part and then you'll see I take my finger and I just sort of like diffuse that glitter a little bit because it does tend to get a bit clumpy in certain areas so I just um, like to use my finger and spread it around and it also just softens the look up a little bit which is what we like now for eyeliner I'm aligning my eyes with my Inglot gel liner in the shade 77 um, and yeah I'm just pretty much lining doing a simple line not a wing um, just to make the look pop with our lashes and now I've just taken a black um, eyeshadow and I'm just smoking out that winged liner because I didn't want the dark black to be too harsh for foundation I'm using the NYX can't stop won't stop in the shade natural tan or neutral tan mixed with the Estee Lauder tawny shade um, it's just because that NYX foundation is a bit too dark for me um, so when I mix it with tawny it becomes an okay shade for me to work with and now I'm just smoothing that foundation out with my um, Real Techniques um, blending sponge just because uh, my brush left a little bit of streaks in the foundation for concealer we're going to be using the wet and wild concealers um, the one is medium and the other one is um, medium tan or something to that effect um, and then I'm just putting the concealer on the usual spots um, these concealers are one of my favorites and for the price they are definitely worth it and then all I'm doing is just blending that concealer into the rest of my face as usual now to set the skin and the concealers I'm using this match perfection uh, loose powder from um, I think it's Revlon or Maybelline or someone just to set all of that um, into place I really like this powder it's also extremely lightweight and um, I just like the way it applies onto the skin it's very nice and it's not that talc powdery look um, I'm going to be contouring and for my contour I'm using the NYX contour powders um, I really like these and I just like the way um, they apply they work with all products so I really like to contour my face with this powder and now I'm also going to just be contouring my forehead my cheeks and my nose I don't usually contour my nose but I just wanted something um, a little bit extra for this look so that's why I've decided to actually contour my nose but on most occasions I would generally skip this step um, altogether but if you guys want me to do a video on like contouring or um, contouring with cream and powder then I can do one just let me know okay and now I'm just taking um, some black eyeshadow on a um, angled brush and I'm just setting my lower lash line where that um, black eyeliner is I'm just setting that lash line in and also just smoking it out but obviously I don't want to go too intense for my lashes I'm using these from eyelash boutique and yes I know um, my eyelashes were po popping um, out on that inner corner I only realized like while I was deep into my highlighter that that situation was happening but I did fix it you don't have to look at this ratchet ass eyelash popping off so for highlights I'm just using the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter it's just no reason just just what I had in front of me at the time Moving on to lips, I'm using this LA Girl lip liner in the shade Chocolate. Now I wanted the lips to be very very nude 
soft and neutral so I'm lining my lips with this um, it's, it's a very dark lip liner but the lipstick that I'm going to be using is extremely light and for lipstick I'm going to be using MAC uh, Max lipstick in the shade Myth. Now this is an extremely nude shade as you can see. So that dark um, lip liner balances the entire look out and um, also stops that lipstick from being scarily nude on a more tan skin. And now I'm just taking that lip liner and just adding, fixing and adding some of. And there we have it guys. This is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed watching and thanks so much. See you next time. Bye.